Good afternoon and welcome back to Burke's Backyard. Well look, you know, in, in the past, you know, what they've done with the brisket in Australia, they've pickled it and they've corned it, but I've got a beef brisket which comes from the, the lower uh, chest of the beef, the animal, uh, uh, the carcass, and we're gonna do some slow and low Texan smoking, baby. So we're gonna do slow and low cooking here today. So. Here's my rub. We're gonna marinate this over tonight. We're gonna to continue it tomorrow. So I'll just start off with the rub. We've got some brown sugar, cracked black pepper, paprika, chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, flake dried onions, dried mustard, sea salt, and cayenne pepper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all that into a glass bowl here. And this is gonna be our rub for our wonderful brisket that we're gonna smoke low and slow tomorrow. So we put all this lovely concoction for our Texan dry rub into my medium glass bowl here. And we'll give that a nice good combine. So the sweetness of the sugar will give a nice caramel-like coating. And then you've got the heatness from that cayenne, that chili powder. You've got that dried onion, that garlic powder, onion powder, all coming together that's gonna to do something really, really special for this brisket that we're gonna marinate overnight. So we just make sure that gets a really, really good and we get all our lovely dried spices there off our board. And that's fantastic. All right, so we've got our lovely brisket over here. And I, and I, and, and I, and I got one with as much marbling as possible because that intramuscular fat will break down in the cooking process and make sure we get a beautiful tender cut. Because traditionally, if you don't do it slow and slow, it can be quite a tough bit of meat, so it needs a bit of love. So we're going to put the cling wrap underneath that. And then we're going to put our beautiful rub. And we're going to liberally rub that in to our beef brisket. Turn that over. I'll put that on our cling wrap again. And we'll do the underside of the, the beast. We'll make sure we use every bit of that rub. Over. And we'll make sure that gets a liberal spices and all that will develop a lovely crust when smoking our brisket. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cling wrap that bad boy nice and tight and we'll come back to you. So we've got our brisket here and our rub. Now I'm gonna transfer it into a tray here and we're gonna wrap this and we're gonna refrigerate it at four degrees for about 24 hours. So we'll come back tomorrow and then we'll place it in our smoker and I'll talk to you about times and temperatures and how to baste it. But it's really important and essential that we give that a really good wrap. and allow that brisket rub to really penetrate into the beast. Solid wrap. That goes in the refrigerator for four degrees uh, for 24 hours. We'll see you tomorrow when we smoke it. Thanks very much. All right, so 24 hours later, we've pulled this brisket out. And that flavor is really immersed inside that and it's ready for cooking. So we've got our smoker over here and we want to set it to about 110 degrees 
We've got some dry wood pellets and then some water. And it's time to put this baby in. So we'll take it out. And really the smoke immersifies in the first hour and a half of cooking. So we put that on the lower shelf and then we've got our water and then we've got our wood chips underneath, our mesquite wood chips. So we'll put this baby to bed for about five hours at about 110 degrees and then we'll come back and we'll rest it for 20 minutes and then we'll cover up. Thank you. You're better on beef, it's all about family. Put over there the video, I've got all my sister and brother-in-laws here. Big wave guys, big wave. Big wave. Right, and they come over here and we've done this brisket for seven hours. And we're about to take it out now and rest. Say hello to my nieces and nephews. All my nephews. I've got three girls, but I've got four nephews as well. They're good kids. They're good kids. Four, five, six, seven. So this brisket has been going low and slow for seven and a half hours. Look at that bad boy. And now we're going to take it over here. And we're going to rest it. And then we're going to carve it and put it on some beautiful rolls of a lovely slaw. We'll be back to you soon. The brisket's rested. It's show time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across the grain and we're going to do some nice slices and that is just sensational. Look at that. The way that this just, it just pulls away. Oh, mate. Probably a bit thick if you ask me. I can even go a little thinner. But that is just rested. All those beautiful juices. We've got that smokiness here. And that's true Texan brisket for you right there. We we'll just get nice long slices across the grain. And then I've got some lovely sweet baby rays Texan barbecue sauce. And have we got a pastry brush? So we've got that beautiful brisket, that smoked brisket, and I'm going to baste it with this barbecue sauce. It's just very easy and it's just nice and succulent. And that's the Texan barbecue sauce. I didn't make my own today. Usually I do with apple cider vinegar, mustard, ketchup. Um, but today, and which is the, but today I've just got the good old sweet baby rays, which is available from your local supermarket. We'll just give that a nice brushing. And then I'll, and that's just nice and succulent now. And I'll just slice that right down the center there. And I've got some beautiful rolls. And it's all very gusto, it's already family, help yourself, fun, that's what food's about, right? Got some beautiful slaw over here, to be helpful with the slaw. I don't like to sop my mayonnaise in, I want crunch in mine, so my lovely sister-in-law's done a nice chaffinata cabbage there. And we just added some carrots. And then we'll put that beautiful Texan brisket, and it's just gelatinous, look at that baby, right there. And then we'll do the... It's partner in crime. I use a lovely whole eggs, Hillman's mayonnaise in my brisket. And we've got those other two pieces there. And those gusto bits of brisket. Just in your face, baby. Smoked for seven hours in the smoker. 100 degrees Celsius. Mescot wood chips. Dab the coleslaw on. There's nothing uh, gourmet about this. It's just pure dude, dude food. The kind of food that you'll have when you're watching the footy. Friends. A little bit of grease proof. Straight over the top there. Straight under. A big fat bit of brisket hanging out. And we'll do it again. And that, my friends, is slow cooked Texan brisket over the wood chips, seven hours, 100 degrees, marinated the day before. And it's just gusto in your face, Cos coleslaw hanging out. If you've got some potato chips and a fat dill ass pickle, that'd go well with that. But you know, it's all about the beef for me. 
That's my slow and roasted uh, smoked brisket. I'm Chef Sam Burke. Keep it easy, keep it fun, keep it about family. You're better on beef. Thank you.